Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my studio. Today I am going to share with you a technique that is amazing in order to shape beautiful filmic contrast. And it's right there, accessible to you for free in DaVinci Resolve. So, so I have these two clips today and they are in log and I am converting them into DaVinci wide gamut and this node is transforming DaVinci wide gamut to Rec 709 in order to convert the log footage into display, all right? And we are going to work on our contrast before that node. So the contrast adjustment that we are going to do is going to happen in log space. And to do so, I'm going to prepend a node here, pressing Shift S, it's creating a node right before my output transform. And uh, in this node, I'm going to look for Film Look Creator. And I'm going to drag Film Look Creator right into node number two, right there, okay? Let's make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, when you slap Film Look Creator, it's already dropping a look. On the footage okay this is not what we want today so we are going to press on presets here and go for clean slate and now when i turn off and on this node it's not doing anything which is exactly what we want for today now i'm going to open the color settings tab right there and we are interested in these sliders today and let me demonstrate to you what they actually do and to show you what they do i'm going to load a grayscale ramp all right and let's deactivate our output transform for now okay so this is the node that is converting our log footage into display all right so let's deactivate it for a second all right, so if I go back to my clips here, they are now in log, so we're not doing anything, okay, to the footage, right? So this is my grayscale, and let's open the effect again, and we are going to push the contrast slider right there. And you notice that when I push for that contrast slider, it's creating a beautiful soft S curve okay and we're going to play with three parameters today which are contrast here which is pushing that film s curve contrast highlights which is going to drop our highlights okay and fade which is going to elevate our black point right there and let's actually look at what it does on our footage okay so now we're back on our two shots right there and i want to really design a beautiful s-curve filmy contrast for my shots and i'm going to do so by increasing that contrast slider okay So about there, falls pretty good to me. Okay, so that is before, that is after. Let's see how it looks like on our previous shot. Before, after. It's actually perhaps a little bit pushed, so I'm going to lower contrast just a little bit. Before, after. Let's go to the next shot. Before, after. Okay, I'm liking that. Before I continue on with today's video, I have a small favor to ask you guys. Most of you who regularly watch the content here are not subscribed yet to the channel. It would massively help and support it if you could please take a minute to pause the video and subscribe, especially if you're enjoying the content that I'm uh, doing here. It would massively help. Thank you guys. Now let's go on with the video. Now, let's play with highlights because if you look at the parade you see that the peak of our rgb parade is quite high it's sitting at a hundred nits 
All right, so we're gonna try and lower that peak to compress our highlights with a nice roll off. And you see how our top highlights are compressing gently. You can see that window, that window light that is going down. It's creating a really nice, softer look. Okay, so that is before, this is after. And let's fade a little bit our contrast to elevate our black points a little bit. Now, perhaps I can compensate with increasing my contrast further. And that is before, this is after. Before, after. Let's go back to our previous shot. Before, after. Really nice, right? So this, guys, is actually a pretty simple trick in order for you to shape a beautiful S-curve contrast without opening your RGB curves if you don't want to. I'm a big fan of curves, guys, as you probably know, and usually what I like to do is to um, create a node, go into my RGB curves right there, and shape an S-curve by hand in order to have maximum control, right? But actually, I believe that tool is really, really well made. It's quite simple and easy to operate. And look at what we are able to create, right? With just three little sliders there, looks pretty good, all right? And I believe that the more simple approach you can take, the better it's going to be when you are trying to be uh, fast and efficient in your color grading practice. This is something I really encourage you to use and abuse. Contrast is probably the most important thing in uh, your grade, right? Because our eyes are a lot more sensitive to contrast than um, they are to color. So you gotta really refine that contrast pretty well. And um, if you don't know where to start, well, this is a very good place, very well designed tool. Please go and use it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed that contrast tip that I believe is pretty nice. And um, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel to not miss the future videos that I'm going to make. Comment down below, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what topic you would like me to cover in the future. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Salut, prenez soin de vous.